actually hit the ground. Yellow is out. Yellow, yellow. Competition yellow. Straight up. Well, we're getting ready to find out what that's going to do here when they change these tires. I heard the call. I would think that's your biggest concern if they can keep that splitter up off the ground. I know people are talking about more air pressure. Some are talking about less air pressure. So it's a whole pile of changes. So the pace car comes out, picks up our race leader, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He has led every lap. Now NASCAR is going to require everybody to change at least right side tires on this pit stop. They don't have to change the lifts. We will see some four tire changes, but uh, NASCAR is going to require everybody changing right sides. Also gives us a chance. We will share with you. We still do not have uh, full scoring. We have the cars as they are running, but uh, we can't give you the margins or who exactly is a lap down right now. There's a, a glitch in the NASCAR scoring that they are working on. Now, Marty good Goodyear and all the teams are telling me that this tire that we're getting ready to take off the car it's probably about two or three tenths of a second faster than the tire it's going on and so we did ask the question this morning can you take this other tire and put it back on at the end of the race says no no none of that this tire is out of the racetrack after this first pit stop is illegal to put it back on well we're about to find out just what these new tires which is actually last year's tire on the right side is going to do for these cars. They'll go around at least one more time before they open pit road. Now, this is one of those tracks where track position is really important, but also that grip is important. These tires, are, you know, to get those extra two tires sometimes can make a difference. So it's really a tough decision for crew chiefs to make this two tire, four tire call. You saw a shot right there on Danica Patrick. She is running right now in 26th position. OK, so you come in off of turn number two and you got to go all the way around. Let's send it to Dr. Jerry Punch. And Marty, Jason Reckliff will have all four tires changed for Kyle Busch because the stagger is more than they thought they were going to be having on this new right side. Tires with now a guessing game starting here with Kyle Busch. Let's go down to Dave. Doc, Trevor Bain gives up fourth position. That's where he started. His car was good in and out of the corner. In the middle, it wouldn't turn. So they'll make an air pressure adjustment for young Trevor Bain. Now let's go around pit road to Jamie Little. And Justin Allgaier says he's plowing in the center, but it's not as bad as in practice. Four tires is the call down on the track bar to help that plowing condition. In the middle of your screen, Brad Keselowski, he was happy with these old tires. They weren't having the wear issues that everybody else was yesterday. Remember, they're putting those tires from last time on Brad Keselowski's car. Pretty good. Vince. Bottom of the screen is your race leader, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Says the car is a little free through three and four. They made an air pressure adjustment in the left front. Four tire change for Ricky Stenhouse. So there come the cars off of pit road. And again, we apologize. We can't show you the race off because it's all hinged on our scoring, which currently is not functioning properly. So we'll reset it for you after 28 of 300 laps when we come back here to Bristol.